No. Thank God it's Friday. Am I right? Am I right? Man, I started this a while ago, but I had so many other things running that the camera wasn't being seen, and then the camera just didn't work. I'm still not sure the camera's going to work the whole time I'm doing this. We'll find out. Um, so I had to cut everything off. Oh, and my web browser's gone too. Well, now that's no good. I'm just going to use that. Let me pull Firefox back up. Firefox ends up taking up half a gig of memory. It's ironic. It's not really ironic, but when we first got Firefox, the key was it was light and fast and so much better than whatever we were using, IE or Netscape Navigator. And now they up the version number every couple of days or so, and it's just this behemoth, this behemoth, Firefox 12. I mean, seriously, really? Of course, on my other computer, it's so out of date and is an architecture not being supported by Apple or Mac OS anymore, so it's stuck with Firefox 3.6, and we like it. Now, even that's, like, too big, but... What was I doing before I was going to, yes, well, enough of that. Hello to you. We made it another week. It's Friday. It's 625, somehow, and the current temperature is 65 degrees, and it's threatening to rain, but hopefully not going to rain. I was promised no rain today. Make sure you can see my Groove Shark shirt. I was promised no rain today and enough, just enough of a window of no rain tomorrow that I could get in my lawn mowing without it being overly soggy and moist and unpleasant. However, it may rain tonight. It's been looking really gray and ornery, so I don't know. No matter what, I will probably mow the lawn tomorrow. No matter how much of a fiasco it turns out to be, or I just gotta do it. I mean, it's it's high, it's seeding, it's looking looking bad, man. I mean, I, I'm in a pretty liberal neighborhood, but I think that I'm going to start getting some looks if I wait any longer. And I also got to buy, this is the year that we've uh, gone green, and Minneapolis now has joined the rest of the metro in saying that you have to put your lawn clippings in green bags, so either green plastic or paper. So I got to go to Menards and get some giant paper bags, even though I have a feeling I'm going to compost all the clippings anyway, but there's going to be so much of it that Transporting it's going to be a pain because the composter's way out in the backyard and the front lawn is over here and there's this hill and oh, just the joys of home ownership. I'm fortunate that the lawn grows at all. I try so hard to kill it every year. I don't mean to, but I, I got it in my head that you're supposed to put fertilizer in the lawn and inevitably I will do it at the totally completely wrong time. And last year I did it and I think we had like record breaking heat and no rain of any kind, and by the time we were done, there were, you could just see these stripes of where the fertilizer, and it was just, it's sad. I kind of have that fear now. Here's to you. That after I mow the lawn the first time, it looks great now, but I'm really going to find out where those patches are where there's no grass at all. It's kind of like those dudes, you know, who have the comb over. And if they ever get the haircut, suddenly they realize that their forehead goes all the way up. Do I have one of those yet? I'm getting there, baby. I'm getting there. I think it just depends how you fold your hair up, right? I don't know. Not bad. Not bad for 40. Hey, you know who's no longer in his 40s? I, um, I shouldn't have said it that way. I gave it away. Sorry, Doug. But you did make it public on the W, so... Congratulations. If you follow Doug's blog, and you should, he told a really inspiring tale of how he changed his diet and lost weight and now doesn't suffer from any health maladies. It's ter terribly inspirational and has not motivated me to change my diet in any way. And you can tell I need to because I'm a big fat ass. Well, I'm a medium fat ass. But hey, mowing the lawn is cardio. So I got that going for me. I mentioned Doug because he left a note on the W for me to answer. 
He uh, First, he had some comments about NBC On Demand. He says, if I wait five days, 90% of the commercials will get dropped, which is good because I still have an episode from a week ago to see, so it'll have easily been five days. That's good to know. 60-minute shows become a very watchable 46 minutes. That means we're probably about 23 minutes to get through that episode of The Office I didn't see. And what was the other one? Episode of Community. Actually, I think there was an episode of Parks and Rec I didn't see either. Did I see anything that night? I watched them all last night. Well, I saw about two-thirds of Community because, again, I wasn't there at 7. I was close. Also, I was switching between that and NBA playoffs and NHL playoffs. Doug asks, is there anything better in sports than overtime in the Stanley Cup playoffs? When NBA playoffs go into second overtime, that's very exciting, especially when at least one of the teams is a team I care about. I have a feeling you wouldn't have found the most recent overtime game so appealing had the Capitals scored instead of the Rangers, though. But that was a great game to watch. It was long. I always feel kind of bad. I totally monopolize the TV when those are on. But... Fortunately, Kim is enough of a Rangers fan that I can get away with that. I don't know if I'd get away with that if there were teams not playing. But I, I do remember some of those really long games. Wasn't that one that went to 2 a.m. a couple years ago? That was, I think it was like a Dallas game. Yeah, I do like overtime in NHL playoffs. I like it in the NBA playoffs, too, but we're just not seeing a lot of it. And a lot of mismatches this year, really. I don't know. I, that whole strike shortened season has really messed up the whole season. Yeah. But the playoffs continue. Who do you like in the Kentucky Derby? Doug continues. I won't watch until Monday to see who you picked. I don't know the name of a single horse in the Derby. Thank you. My way of watching the Derby is to turn it on when I, whenever I wake up on Saturday. Turn on, uh, it's no longer versus, it's NBC Sports. So we'll turn on that continuing coverage. And just kind of watch that throughout the day. However... There is a nationwide race at Talladega. That will take precedent. So I'll be watching that, and I will be rooting for... Um, who's my nationwide driver this year? I don't know. Gosh, that's terrible. I'm going to root for... I'm going to root for that... Who is that guy? That guy, you know. That guy. Uh, shoot. Shoot. I can't remember. I'm sorry. All the guys that I'm rooting for just kind of up and disappeared. I'll root for Morgan Shepard if he'll actually race. I think he's starting a parking now. I don't know. We'll see how that goes. But I love Talladega. I'm hoping that uh, David Gilliland will once again finish in the top five, as he has wont to do. Now, his partner, David Reagan, but he's pretty good at these play tracks, right? So if we can get those Davids together. <coughs> I'm also interested in seeing how Travis Quapel does with Landon Castle. I'm assuming they're going to race together, too. I've talked a lot about NASCAR to avoid talking about the Derby. So what I was saying is I'll watch it for a few hours, and then I'll make a pick based on what I've learned over those few hours. And what that usually means is I will pick whoever is second or third, uh, has the second or third best odds, or is it best or worst? Whoever is the favorite... I'll let go one or two levels lower usually. Unless I've learned something about the condition of the track, which makes me favor it some other way. Uh, and in the end, I pick the wrong horse. So it doesn't really matter. So what I'm going to do is I will say I will start with the third from the top. Of course, it depends on the post position. No, but whoever has the third best odds, that's who I would start with. And then I would be swayed away from or towards someone else. Very scientific, I know. What I would usually do is uh, give my money to Drew and let him bet it. Is Drew, I think, Drew, you're going to be there, right? I'm assuming. Isn't that your goal in life, to do that every year till the day you die? Yeah. Well, we'll know. Someone will probably start a thread tomorrow. It won't be me, but uh, I just petered out. That's it. <laughs> Well, we made it another week. Uh, I don't believe I had any YouTube comments, so I think I'm caught up on everybody's questions again. So thanks again for watching. We'll probably go ahead and do it all again next week, after which I'll have exciting Cinco de Mayo stories. The story will be I stayed home. Spoiler alert.
Thanks for watching. I love you. I'll see you next week.